This is a, another new ride we've got for this year. It's a big elephant ride, as you can see. We think it'll be fantastic. You know, we're two weeks away from getting it ready. Everything was positive, and this happened. This has been in our family since 1946. I've worked here all my life, 42 years. The picture of the four in the barrow are all the directors here now. Myself, my twin brother, and my two cousins. We do everything here, you know, from the top to the bottom. Funland has weathered many storms, but concerns about coronavirus could push it to the edge. As from tomorrow, all our full-time staff will be on a four-day week. All the directors and the shareholders of the company are on zero wages at the moment for the next two months. We're very worried people, absolutely petrified. If we did have to shut the fair, um, it's not easy to get other jobs, especially part-time on the island. I'm just really glad they are open and I hope people come and support it still. What's better than being out in the fresh air, having a good time? I've been thinking about smaller businesses and how it could affect them in the long run, like people not wanting to come out. Um, but no, it's not really, really soft task. I think we might as well just carry on as normal. I would liken it to war with, with an enemy we don't know. So therefore, we don't know what's going to happen. We can't plan for it. I do feel helpless because I want someone in the government to say, we're going to help with people like us. I want to say, I want Mr. Johnson on the, on the telly saying, we're going to help people like Funland or the caravan site of the road, or the shop in, in, in Havant. And we have paid millions in taxes over the years, millions. We need a bit of help now, I'm asking for it. Elsewhere, volunteers.